bring a smile, Betty. Uh, hello, Tom. Thank you for handing it over to me. Of course, a very important conversation there about greening Kenya. Make sure you play your part, plant a tree. It might save the earth. Well, time to get the latest in the world of business. My name is Betty Kiptum. The government has rolled out a unified human resource information system and upgraded government human resource ICT infrastructure to consolidate, simplify, modify human resource and payroll all public institutions into a single platform. Public Service Cabinet Secretary Aisha Jumwa says the move seeks to effectively manage the public wage bill, which in June this year crossed 500 billion. Public institutions have been using different and independent human resources information system to undertake HR functions and reporting, limiting the government's ability to make sound decisions on the wage bill management, budgeting and national planning. Data from the central bank indicates that public wage bill hit the half a trillion mark in the financial year ended June, representing a 5% year on year increase. The adoption of a unified human resource information system is expected to consolidate HR data and wage bill in the public service, integrate them through a single system for decision making. Beginning of a journey that will transform the management of the human resource information across the public service, being enhancing availability and accessibility of information in the desired format and ensuring compliance and good corporate governance in human resource management practices. All public institutions have until July next year to migrate to the new system that is also expected to enhance good corporate governance. All public service organizations to seamlessly transition from the current IT, IT system to the new unified human resources uh, information system within the provided timelines. There is a lot of work to be done for, by departments, MDS, to migrate into this. And we have a periodic reports, okay, uh, maybe fortnightly, so that we can be able to monitor uh, who is complying and who is not complying, and why they are not complying, so that we all work this journey together. The system is also geared towards clearing ghost workers for the government's payroll, a menace that has seen counties pay 35 billion shillings to non-existent staff. Migration will be done in five phases, starting from next month, in which a unique payroll will be given to public servants. Wairimu Jenga for Prime Edition.